which dinosaur evolved into a bird. So you're talking about like the common ancestor of all birds? That's the exciting thing. We don't know yet. Yeah, that is something that is still yet to be discovered. That's something that is still out there, yet to be found. We do have very, very early birds, things like Archaeopteryx. Archaeopteryx is the best we've got at the moment. Um, it's kind of half dinosaur to like grievously oversimplify things. But yeah, we don't know actually which dinosaur gave rise to all the birds. And that'll require future fossil discoveries and further study to actually be able to figure that out. It's one of those things that we don't have a super firm answer on at the moment. And again, that's exciting. Somebody will figure that out. Somebody will discover that. Someday we'll have a, a more firm answer. And who knows, maybe it's somebody who's watching this broadcast right now. Somebody who will grow up to be a paleontologist and figure that out. To a scientist, often the phrase, I don't know, is one of the most exciting things that you could say. Is it means that there is a discovery out there yet to be made, and it's probably important if somebody's asking about it, you know? A big part of science is discovering new things. You know, that's why we go out and collect data and ask questions and test hypotheses uh, using evidence that we find, is we're, we're trying to, to answer questions, and sometimes you don't even know what questions to ask. Sometimes you just discover something new, and your mind is blown, you know? That's, that's a big part of what science is.